evil. Talking about a study of evil. And we're still in the adjective. Describing a noun. You know, adjective a red car. Describe a car as red. So we're looking at different thing, aspects of the description of evil. And let me just go through the list again. I'm going to say this again. Go back and get the previous video or audio. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we have an evil beast. We have an evil congregation. We have an evil place. We have an evil generation. We have an evil disease. Evil men of Shechem. Evil doers. Evil man. Evil doers. Thoughts of evil. We have an evil woman. Evil men. Evil people. Good and evil. That was our that was our biblical definition we did last time. We have evil fruit. Now let's look at Matthew twelve thirty nine. Matthew twelve thirty nine. But he, Jesus, answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, <coughs> and there shall be no sign given but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Okay, adding to our list, what do we have? We have an evil, now we had an evil generation. We already discussed that. Now we got an evil and an adulterous generation. And then when we're talking about adulterers, we're not necessarily, and we're talking about sexual. But a man can commit adultery against God by having relations with other gods and the devil. You could be sleeping with the devil in the world and be adulterous fair with God. And there's a generation of people, an age group. And that's not good. So, it's an adib, uh, adjective. Not only do we have evil generation, but we have an adulterous. And it's talking about the nation of Israel. They're guilty of adultery, pertaining to adultery. And then idolatry is very wicked. The national Israel, the nation of Israel requires a sign, 1 Corinthians 1.22. And that is scripture. But they had already rejected Jesus and they wanted the magic, the Christian magic show for the entertainment purposes. And Jesus had already told them, listen, the greatest sign has ever happened. And people don't believe the story of Jonah. They don't believe the story that Jonah was swallowed and died and went in hell by the whale. And that he was resurrected three days and three nights later out of, out of the whale. So we have an unbelieving, entertainment-seeking people, but not for the glory of God. And there's, there's Christians out there, oh, Christian magic. Well, it, it brings the kiddies to Jesus. No, it entertains the kiddies to look at the tricks. Uh, if I can use the, the copyright thing, when I grew up, silly rabbit tricks were for kids. Matthew 24. People don't like when I speak the truth. But have I become your enemy because I speak the truth? You shall know the truth, and truth shall set you free. Sanctifying through thy word, thy word is true. Matthew 24, 48. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth, it's coming. Now we got a servant. A servant. And in the story is a person who's waiting on the Lord. This is a servant of the Lord. And in life it could be any employee. And if he's a servant of the Lord and an employee, would you would think possibly that there are evil 
Christian employees out there? Would you think so? Would you think that a Christian could be an employee and be evil? And if someone saved or lost, Jesus Christ is not coming. Or he will come much later than the present time. He's not hoping for the Lord to come during this time. After all, you know, he wants to get married. I said that first because, you know, people know I want to get married. But I'd rather have the rapture. Listen, the rapture happened. I'll be with my two wives for all eternity. The Lord delays his call as the Lord, you know, Lord willing. Well, I want to go through this life with a wife. But I don't want the Lord to stop the rapture so I can get married. There are people who don't want the Lord. They're evil because they want to get on the, the corporate ladder. And Jesus said the evil servant here is the man that says, oh, I, I heard someone say, I, I, if, I never heard of it, but I heard someone say one time that there was a song out there, wait a little longer, Jesus. Well, the writer of that song, if it is a song, and the singers of that song, according to Jesus, in Matthew 24, 48, they're evil. And an evil Christian servant employee would be, well, the boss won't come. The owner won't come. So I can fool around, do whatever I want to do. After all, it's Wednesday. The boss don't come on Wednesday. The boss never comes down to our department, so I could fool around. The boss will never see. I spend more time with the water cooler. That's an evil servant. That is an evil servant. Says the Lord, no ain't coming. Luke 7. Good adjectives, aren't they? I hope they're not any of us. Luke 7, 21. And in the same hour, he cured, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and evil spirits. And unto many that were blind, he gave sight. So now we have evil spirits. And yes, they are in the Bible. They're not just Hollywood, but there are evil spirits. That is a biblical sound truth. And they're all through the time of Jesus' ministry. How sick was Israel when Jesus came? They were blind. They were lame. They were possessed with the devils. Hearing. When, it, when Jesus came, Israel, because of their sin, were a sick nation. When Jesus comes for his church, you know what the church is going to be? It's going to be a sick church. Apostasy. The church ain't going to get better. It's going to get worse. Evil spirit is, a, is listed ten times. And evil spirits are listed four times in the Bible. Seven verses in the Old Testament and six verses in the New Testament. And Jesus Christ was able to heal them infected. Jesus Christ was able to heal those that were affected by it. But there's evil spirits. So an evil here is there's an evil spirit world out there. Are there evil spirits today? Oh yeah, there are. They're dominating major cities and capital cities of the world. There are evil spirits that possess the, the, the realm of television and movie making. There are evil... You know, when I grew up... Those are the birds, if you can hear them. When I grew up... Well, when I, later on, it was called a package store when I later on in my life, teenage years. But before that, you know what they used to call... A place where you went and bought liquor only. The only place of liquor store, because all they sold was liquor. It's called a spirit shop. 
John says, try the spirit. You want to know another evil spirit out there? Now, here I go. I'm not going to make any friends. Don't they call it the Christmas spirit? Christmas is not Bible. Christ Christmas is pagan. A pagan spirit ought to not be possessing a, a Christian. And when a Christian and his church are involved with the Christmas spirit, you got an evil spirit. You got a pagan spirit. And some people just wish I didn't say that, but I did. John 3, 19. Oh, but I just kept my mouth shut. People would be so happy. But you wouldn't be learning nothing. You want to be learning the sins against God that we're sinning against. And if someone's taught you that Christmas is okay and good for the, they taught you wrong. Need to get Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and two Babylon to read about the spirit of Tammuz. And if you don't know what I just said by Tammuz, don't call yourself a Bible scholar. John 3, 19. And this is the condemnation. Ooh, that light is coming into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. I got a great message about men as cockroaches. <laughs> when you bring that gospel light into their life, they want to run. <laughs> you know, like when you go in the kitchen, you turn on that light at 3 o'clock in the morning, all the bugs run. Because their deeds were evil. Oh, the birds are having fun. I'm sorry. So, what do we have here? What's the description here? You would think it's a verse. But it's actually a description. And description is that men and their deeds that reject totally unto death... When they die, rejecting Jesus, from their life, rejecting Jesus, rejecting the gospel, rejecting the preacher, rejecting all that someone's trying to get them saved, and they die. Condemnation. When they reject Jesus Christ, they are in evil. And you describe them as evil, though they don't think they're evil, because they'll come up to you and say, well, I'm good. Will you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved? Well, no, I'm good. No, you're evil. And we discussed that, I believe it was last time, about the good fruit and the evil fruit that Jesus spoke about. You can't be good and evil at the same time. With Daniel, was it Dan? I think it was Dan. You're either evil or, uh, no, Jeremiah. You're evil, either evil, good, or naughty. <laughs> Even the, the, the song, you know, you're either naughty or nice. Any man or woman who has rejected Jesus Christ and died or will die without the gospel of Jesus Christ, no matter what good they may do, their deeds are recorded as evil. Let's look at Revelation 20, verse 11. Revelation 20, verse 11. Many people think they're good, but they're not good at all when they're not saved. Revelation 20, verse 11. Say you're good all you want, but if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you're evil. And I saw a great white throne, and him, Jesus, that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heavens split away. Bye-bye, Mother Earth. Mother Earth split. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. Another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their work. Even good work. And bad work. All kinds of work. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. 
and death and hell delivered the dead that were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. You better be born again. You better have the second birth so you don't get the second death. Born once, die twice. Born twice, die once. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. My friend, that's evil. You're described as evil, and that's evil. That's the consequences of your sin of rejecting Jesus Christ. So not only is it an adjective, but here it's a verb. All right, so one more place in that. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Imagine Jesus told you to go to hell. Think about that. Matthew 7, 22. Many will say to me, Jesus, that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Work. And in thy name have we not cast out devils? Work. And in thy name done many wonderful works? Works. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Why? Your name was not written in the last book of life. That's evil. And if your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life, unsaved men and their good is evil. John 7, 7. This is five for today, so we'll stop at this one. John 7, 7. I'm in no rush. John 7, 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hated. Ooh, the world always says love. What the world needs is love, love, love. You love me, I love you, love everybody too. Like to teach the whole world. Knock it off, Kyle. Where was I? Because I testify of it. And the works thereof of the world, there's works again of the world, are evil. The world is not saved. What we just did in John 3, 19. They're not, go, they're not all going to heaven. What the world does is evil. And all that is in the world is not of God. It is evil. Evil is opposite of God, and God is opposite of evil. Evil, Matthew 7 again. Matthew 7. Matthew 7, 13. Enter ye the straight gate. That's the way of Jesus. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that's the world, that leadeth to destruction. And many there be that which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, Jesus, and narrow is the way, Jesus, which leads them to light, the few there be that find it. Many go off into hell, few go off into glory. Not all people go to heaven. The world and its work is evil. There's a difference. And when the world thinks God is pleased with me, it is evil thinking. It is unholy thinking. And that work of evil thinking will get you into hell because you have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved.